So I've been to VidCon a couple of times and it's an interesting experience because you always know that there's a famous YouTuber nearby because there's a giant flock of people, mostly teenage girls, all running in the same direction. And what gets me is that when I finally figure out who it is they're all running after, it's always somebody I've never seen before in my life. I mean, apparently they're really famous, but they're invisible to me. It's a strange sight. Similarly, in the 1970s, astronomers found something equally as weird. A whole bunch of galaxies, like thousands of them, were all moving toward the same point in space. A point that, as far as they could tell, was empty. And just to add to the mystery, one of the galaxies that's headed toward this thing is one that we're very familiar with our own. Right now, you and me and everybody we know are all hurtling toward this thing and we have no idea what it is. The scientists named this mysterious spot the Great Attractor. It's been a mystery ever since. Skills Who Kills Who's the Daddy 30 and Russell Stewart all asked, can you do a video on the Great Attractor? So, speaking of big YouTubers, this video is actually a collaboration with somebody you guys have been talking about quite a bit in my comments, the one and only Isaac Arthur. Isaac, do you want to say anything? Hi, Joe. Happy to be doing this collaboration with you. Uh, Isaac is actually, most of you don't know this, he's just a disembodied voice. That's why you never see him in any of his videos. This is true. I transcended my physical form in 2013. Come on over to my channel for a deep dive on the subject. Yeah, and uh, subscribe while you're there, because if you like my videos, my videos are like the appetizer to some of these subjects. His are the steak and the potatoes and the dessert and on and on. It's really good stuff. Thank you. Uh, of course. <laughs> is he still there? Yes, I am. <laughs> okay, this is weird. The Great Attractor is about 150 million light years away, so when I say we're hurtling toward it, it's not like it's something you really need to worry about. We've got some time. Now there's a lot of mysterious things in the universe, energies and matters that we can't see, but the Great Attractor is different. The reason we can't see it is because there's actually something blocking our view. It's called the Milky Way. We see pictures like this all the time, and they're labeled the Milky Way, but that's not an actual picture that we could ever take. That vantage point would be tens of thousands of light years away. We're on the edge of this galaxy, so the only view we could ever get of it really is edgewise, which creates some beautiful nighttime photos but it also means there's some big patches of the universe that we just can't see because of the whole galaxy photobombing thing. In fact, the Museum of Natural History's visualization of all the mapped galaxies in the universe really drives us home when you can see just how much of the universe is hidden from us. And that includes the Great Attractor. By the way, that patch of the universe where we can't see anything is actually called the Zone of Avoidance, which ironically is what they called the table where I had lunch in high school. <laughs> Having said that, improvements in infrared and x-ray telescope technology have given us the ability to see through the gas and dust and come to some possible explanations. The first explanation is the Norma Cluster, which is a huge cluster of thousands of galaxies that we are able to observe pretty close to where the Great Attractor is supposed to be. The problem is even a galaxy cluster that big did not have enough mass to explain the Great Attractor. We needed something bigger. And we found one. The Shapley Supercluster has over 8,000 galaxies and has a mass of over a million billion suns. In fact, it is the largest structure within one billion light years of where we are right now. It's actually so big that it's too big. Recent studies have shown that not only is it not the Great Attractor, it's actually pulling the Great Attractor toward it. It's a greater attractor than the Great Attractor. So then what is the Great Attractor? We still don't know for sure. Is it a giant collection of dark matter? Is it something called dark flow? Isaac talks about that more in his video. Someday we'll have an answer to this because our sun is orbiting the Milky Way galaxy and eventually we'll get to the other side where we'll be able to see what the Great Attractor is. That'll take 113 million years though, so if you want to see it, start taking your vitamins. Like a lot of vitamins. That also means that 113 million years ago, there was an iguanodon that totally knew the answer to this. So just to put all this into perspective, when we talk about galaxy superclusters, we're talking about the universe in mind-bendingly huge scales, where every galaxy, itself billions of stars, is nothing but a molecule in a vast foam. They clump into superclusters here, they form filaments there, they form these vast bubbles and voids. Our species is nothing but the tiniest virus in the middle of a swimming pool of shaving cream. Which does sound a lot like VidCon. 
Special thanks to Isaac for collabing with me on this video. You've heard me wax poetic about it. Now go over to Isaac's channel where you can get a serious deep dive into this subject and many other subjects about science and futurism. And if you came over from Isaac's channel, welcome. I'm glad to have you here. Go say hi to my peeps down in the comments below. And if you like this, I invite you to check out some of my other videos. Maybe subscribe because I come back with stuff just like this every Monday. Special thanks to my answer files on Patreon. Your support means the world to me. Everybody else, like, share, and comment, and talk about it down below. What do you think explains the great attractor? And you can't say aliens. Not everything is aliens. Thanks for watching. You guys go out there and have an eye-opening week, and I'll see you next time. Love you guys. Take care.